What's up and welcome back to Rumor Has It Official. So let's get straight into talking about Married at First Sight, Happily Ever After. This is season one, episode two, Lost in Transparency. So uh, this is day three of the couple's retreat and the experts, they meet with all the couples individually and they wanna talk about the ratings that they gave their spouses in episode one. First up is Bobby and Danielle. They rated each other a 10. I feel like they could be possibly afraid of conflict. So if they aren't arguing, I'm sure they've had disagreements, but they just haven't expressed how they feel when those different conflicts or disagreements have come about. Next is Jeff D and Shawnice. Dr. Jessica wants a better understanding on why their separation took place because in episode one, they talked about how they separated and rings were removed. Shawnice opened up that when they argue, they don't fight fair. Jeff D says that he wasn't happy due to the backlash on social media from the show. I feel like he wasn't taking the process serious and I didn't like how he treated her. I feel like from day one, she gave 100%, gave her all. She was committed to the process and I just didn't like the way that I felt like he treated her. So uh, he, like I said, he says that he wasn't happy due to backlash on social media from the show. And Shawnice added that during their separation, she found condoms and that's when she took her ring off and took his ring back. To be honest, it really upsets me a little because I think she's a really sweet girl and it seems like Jeffy is more invested and interested simply because they have a child together. And I feel like everything is about the baby when he talks to the experts, everything is about the baby. But my thing is what about her? She's still your wife. So I, it almost makes me feel like if she didn't get pregnant, would he still be with her? Moving on to Ashley and Anthony. So Ashley and Anthony are still not communicating properly. So Dr. Pepper tries to help them with that. Anthony says that he feels, you know, they need help with conflict management. And Ashley wants him to take things more seriously. I think that Ashley has more of a serious personality. Dr. Pepper suggested that Ashley cue him when she needs him to be more sensitive and it seems like Ashley doesn't really want to have to do that. So moving on, Anthony gets a boat for all the couples after, after their one-on-ones with the experts. And while on the boat, it starts pouring down, raining, so they have to move in the inside where it's dry. And the couples all agree that, you know, it's nice that they all have each other to relate to. The guys, they then separate from the girls. So Ashley, she expresses her frustration with Anthony that he doesn't want to know what the gender of their baby is. And Jeff D opens up to the guys that Shanice took their rings, but he doesn't tell them why she took the ring. And I'm like, if you're gonna tell the story, tell it all. Then Bobby talks about he does most of the talking and Danielle on the other hand says her parents kind of shape the woman that she's become. Bobby opened up and said that he feels like he does all the talking. He does express himself a lot. In their season of Married at First Sight, he told her that he loved her first. So he's been more open with his feelings. Danielle, on the other hand, for whatever reason, something has happened when it's time for her to express herself, she can't do it. So what she did was in their season, wrote him a letter and left it on the table. So she just has a hard time really expressing her feelings. While Danielle was talking, the camera kept showing it. Ashley's face and I just kept getting this vibe that I really don't think Ashley too much cares for Danielle. So moving on, the experts create some activities for the couples to do and Ashley and Anthony's activity is to each take control of taking each other's photos. When it's Anthony's turn to take the lead, it seems like Ashley just won't let that happen. She likes to be in control. Bobby and Danielle removed blocks with words on them and each one they removed safely. They have to express a time they felt like the specific word. Bobby gets satisfied and says he was satisfied on their wedding day. The first time 
they had a long talk. Danielle gets the word afraid and says that she was afraid the time she thought they lost her dog, Henry. This girl, I mean, even in his one-on-one -on -one with the camera, he was like, you know, sometimes I feel like Danielle's more concerned or more in love with her dog or cares more about her dog than she does me. And it does kind of come off that way. She, she barely takes care of the animals. You know, she said that she watches dogs and stuff, but it looked like in their season of Married at First Sight, he was doing all of the work with the dogs. He was taking care of her dog, taking them out. I rarely really seen her with her own dog, to be honest. So Danielle, she got a lot of blank blocks and she really is the one that needs to know how to express herself to her husband. So I just felt like that activity didn't really help much because he was getting all of the words and, you know, expressing how he felt. And she just, she wasn't getting anything. Next, Bobby got the word confused. And Bobby said that he was confused if Danielle was happy with who she was matched with. And this girl just replied, okay. I mean, just imagine expressing your feelings and concerns with someone and they just give you one word at reply. So I want to hear your guys' thoughts. I did a poll on the last video that I did and you all said that you did want Married at First Sight recap. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up to let me know that you enjoyed it. Also, don't forget to share this video, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss another upload from Rumor Has It Official. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.